In this first of two videos about the new front side, we are going to speak about the PA menu. The PA menu lets us configure most of the features of the new system. First of all, when we press PA, the system is going to ask us for authorization. This authorization can be just a touch screen like, like this one, or we can also program a code. This PA menu has three sub-menus, Zones Volume, Root Sources, and Advanced. The Zones Volume sub-menu allows us to change the volume of a certain zone. We can do this in 1 dB steps, 5 dB steps, or 10 dB steps. The minimum volume is minus 100 dB, and the maximum volume is 0 dB. Root sources allows us to root a certain source to a certain zone. When we speak through this, through this source, the LED zone is going to turn on. After that, we can also unroot the source from the zone we selected before. Finally, the advanced menu has six sub-menus on it. The first one is audio inputs. In this menu, we can select the LDA sound enhancer, we can select the equalization, or, and we can select the gain of a certain zone. As we can see, we can select also 10 dB, 1 dB, or 5 dB steps. In the Audio Outputs menu, we can select also for a certain output. If we want to uh, select loudness, the equalizer, or also the volume of this zone in 5 dB, 10 dB, or 1 dB steps. It's important to note that in this case, uh, the, the volume is going to apply to a certain channel, not to a certain zone. Monitor allows us to listen to something, to anything that is uh, sounding in one of the of the inputs of the system. Messages allows us to play a certain message. Attention, please. An emergency has been reported in the building. Keep calm and walk to the nearest exit. In this case, we have selected the emergency message. Load preset allows us to load a preset for the for the system. And system has four submenus. The first one is the factory reset, which is going to set all the, the settings to default. The second one is network configuration, which allows us to configure uh, the network uh, for the network characteristics of the system. The third one is date and time. And the fourth one is to add new devices to the system. Is FlexNet Discover. So thank you for your attention.